In this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to create calculated fields in Google Sheets. This tutorial is a continuation of the original pivot table tutorial. If you are looking to learn pivot tables from the start, please watch that tutorial first. I have linked it below in the comments box. So what I have here in this pivot table, this is where we had stopped with our last training. This is the average cost per unit that my representative Larry sold in the years of 2016, 17, and 18. And what we want to add here now is also the weighted average uh, cost per unit. So not only the simple average, but also the weighted average. If you're not familiar with the concept uh, of weighted average, basically what it does is gives scaled importance to the different values that you have in your data set. This would be very important, for example, uh, say if you have a class, if you have three different classroom assignments and one is worth 70%, the other is worth uh, 20, and the next one is worth 10%. So of course you need to assign different weights to uh, the different grades that you get in each assignment. So that's a very simple example of where weighted averages would be important. I have linked here uh, the link to Wikipedia where uh, there is an explanation for weighted averages. So that's, uh, that's a very simple uh, definition of what it is. Okay, so to create a weighted average in Google Sheets, we are going to have to use a calculated field. What a calculated field does, it basically allows you to add your own calculation uh, using the data set that you have in your original uh, data table. So you don't have to use the predetermined functions that are available um, in the editor, you can create your own. So the way to create it, we're going to come here to values on our pivot table editor and we're going to click on add and we're going to come all the way down to calculated field. So you're going to click on calculated field and you see has already started adding it for me. And uh, the spreadsheet has called it calculated field one. We can uh, change the name by coming here to the cell and calling it, um, we're going to call it in this case weighted average. So weighted, don't need caps, so weighted average and you see it has updated all these fields let me select all of the rows and expand them so we can see everything all right so let's start calculating our weighted average so basically what i need to do here is the sum of box units multiplied by the sum of the cost per unit and then divided by the sum of box units. So because we need to do sum times sum, what I'm going to use here is an array formula. And again, I have added this here, the definition, both the formula and the definition here to the left for you to make it easier to follow along. What the array formula will do, it will perform multiple calculations on one or more set of values. So I said I need a sum of box units and I also need the sum of cost per units. So instead of doing sum of box units times sum of cost per unit, I just use sum array formula and then the array formula is going to do the sum both of box units and cost per unit. So it's just making my formula shorter and simplifying it. So that's what we need to do. We need to start the sum, parentheses, then we're going to use the array formula, parentheses again. Now, one complication of using calculated fields in Google Spreadsheets is that you cannot just go and click on the value that you need. You need to type it in and you need to type it in exactly as it is in your original data set. So, Often you're gonna go and you're gonna have to go back to your original data set and see how it's typed and how you have called exactly how you have called the, that field. But I have it typed in right here, so I have called box units. Uh, 
And very important here, you need to add inverted commas because this is text. So we're doing the sum of box units times inverted commas again, the sum of cost per unit. And again, you need to type it exactly as you have it in your original data set. I'm going to close inverted commas, close the parentheses, and then we're going to divide it by the sum of box units. And again, this is going to be between inverted commas. Uh, we also need to summarize this by custom. Otherwise, it's going to sum everything and show as default because otherwise it's a percentage. So we show as default. And there it is. That's your hour weighted average. You can, of course, uh, format it, reduce the number of decimal places, or in this case, you could just add a dollar sign. Let the spreadsheet know that this is a dollar value. And this is our weighted average. If you want to follow along with the tutorial, the spreadsheet that I'm working on is available and linked below on the comment box. All you have to do is open the link, then click on File, make a copy, and save a copy to your drive. Thanks for watching.